12 years. That's got a ring to it, it's like a dozen. We were sitting around a table hearing a story about a shop owner in Atlanta, Georgia, that I guess he compelled to uh, try to help somebody. He started this uh, process of rebuilding a car, and we were sitting around thinking how cool that was, and then we all challenged each other to do one. So that's how it got started, and we haven't stopped yet. It builds unity with the community and with our employees and our vendors, and it's just an awesome way to share that we care. The point of it is giving back to the community because um, our slogan is Thanks Lincoln and we wouldn't be here um, if it wasn't for the community to begin with. This year we had a new partner, Farm Bureau stepped up and got us a Chevy Cruze and a Buick Lucerne. Uh, I worked on the Chevy Cruze, um, it was hitting the front left, uh, the upper rail and some radiator support and stuff like that it was all taken out and replaced. I order all the parts. Make sure that they're good. Try to talk the vendors into donating them. We have amazing vendors and it's really not that hard. <laughs> we helped out with the paint and all the supplies to refinish the car. Tom, Tracy got a hold of us. The need that he shared with us for the community was a really easy thing for us to want to be involved and help. There's so much need and it was great for us to be able to help. It just means a lot to us to be able to help people that really need the cars. It, it makes us good to be able to see the people that are coming in and, and just really know that it's really helping them make a difference in their life. I just think it's a great program and great what we do and help the community out. So We had a lot of uh, applicants, we always do, and it's very hard to go through them all because they all have a touching story and they're all deserving. When I'm talking with families throughout the year and I and I kind of hear their stories and hear that transportation's an issue, I always remember the recycled rides. They write their own kind of essay about what the car would mean to them and their family and how it would um, help them to reach um, self-sufficiency. Lashari is just a hardworking mom of three. She works part-time, wants to work full-time, but is unable to get those hours. She hasn't had a car in I would five plus months and she's found a way to make it work with family and friends and she's ready and able to maintain a car, which is also super important. Have to be able to be able to put gas in it, uh, license it and all that, and she just needed a little support in getting that vehicle. It's gonna be a big difference. Um, I can get to work, I can get my kids to school, back and forth to school, and all the programs they in, after school programs. I got my own car now, so I can get there on time. So I'm grateful for everybody that had any parts to do with this, yeah. Jennifer, when she came into the program, uh, she was homeless, living out of a car, didn't know how much longer she could do that. Within three weeks, she had secured two jobs. Um, she had negotiated a raise at one of them, and she had also found stable housing, which allowed her the opportunity to look at going back to school, which she knew would be the path that would get her even further closer to her goal. I don't think she would be able to graduate college if it weren't for a reliable car. Her car had broken down countless times, she was out of job. All of her savings went to a car that we knew was gonna die, so it, this is amazing. Um, it's gonna make a huge difference. Um, just being able to get to and from work and not have to worry about putting extra money into a older car that can possibly you know, not work tomorrow. I would just like to thank Community Action and Tracy's Collision Center for the opportunity and for choosing me for a reliable vehicle. The stories, um, all those days after reading through some of those, because there's a period of time where you kind of have them in your possession for a week or so, and, and I could think about it, and I could get myself in the right place, and so that I can, I can appreciate what we're doing, you know, because I really want to let it all soak in, because otherwise it just goes like everything does so fast. And then I get to talk to uh, a couple people that just had something really super special go on in their life. And a lot of them haven't had any good luck for a long time. You know, it's not very often something really cool sometimes comes your way, you know. So we all need cool stuff, right? <laughs>